welcome back to the channel and today I thought I would just do a crochet and chat um, I'm working on my granny skirt here um, and I thought I would just chat a little bit why I crochet so how's everybody doing I hope that everybody's doing well I'm quite tired myself um, it's like the whole week of around the 4th of July just is, is exhausting um, we have neighbors that are quite obnoxious with their fireworks and they, they use that whole week just to be obnoxious so we, we lose quite a bit of sleep during that week and I feel like I'm just sluggish left over from that and you know all the stuff that goes along with that so I colored my hair um, this last week um, it's starting to finally wash out enough to where it's kind of going to be the color it's going to be and I really like it I didn't like it at first um, because it was pulling a lot of purple which is weird for a red hair dye <clears throat> it was supposed to be a really deep um, red red color like it is now but when I first did it it looked a lot more purple and I was like it's not what I was going for you know <clears throat> but I, I'm starting to like how it's looking now um, it's kind of where I was wanting it to be now it's still still bleeding a lot when I when I wash my hair or get my hair wet it's still bleeding a lot of red out so kind of just haven't let my hair just do its own thing and not really try and um, use any heat tools on it or overwork it too much just trying to let it rest I guess but um, I'm really pleased with how it's turned out now uh, our garden is doing really well um, if I remember I'll try and take a little snippet of video of our garden and put at the end of this it's we have um, our pumpkins which we didn't get any pumpkins last year we didn't, our garden was just horrible last year because of the late um, we had a really sporadic late frost and um, it killed all of our plants after we had started growing them but this year it's they're doing really well and I'm really pleased with them and this is our first year of growing corn in our new bed that we have out front we made a new bed and we have it out um, it's on like the front far side of the house and it's quite large and we planted corn and sunflowers in there and they are thriving so I will try and pop in a video of the garden at the end because um, they're doing really well this year and our we have a ginormous pumpkin plant um, this plant is the biggest pumpkin plant we've ever had the stalk on it is like this big and I can't wait to see what the pumpkins on it are um, our squash is not doing very well um, we had a whole section of squash that didn't take um, we do have a few squash plants that have picked up since then but um, it's not doing as well as the pumpkin side is and our tomatoes this year are doing really well we have five tomato plants and they already have tomatoes on them we're just waiting for them to turn uh, and I checked this morning and one of the tomatoes is like like this big already it's still green so it's still got some room to grow um, so we may get a good tomato crop as well which is nice because we kind of depend on our garden to supplement our food and uh, I can everything that I can last year we got our tomatoes didn't take off until real late um, so we got tomatoes but they weren't ripe until after it had already started to get cold um, so that didn't turn out very well uh, but this time they're they're already doing really well and it is you know the first part of July we're gonna probably get them before I imagine they'll turn red before August um, yeah so that's kind of what I've been up to is just uh, 
dealing with the garden and trying to stay out of the heat because it's so hot and um, been trying to make uh, videos as often as I can. I kind of just do them all in one lump sum um, if I can do it because I do I do work and um, I have an Etsy shop that I'm running so I have to kind of break up my time into time slots. So I'm trying to work out a schedule for that and sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. Like last week I didn't get out many videos and um, this week I'll probably get quite a few out. Or was it the week before? See, time's running all together. I don't remember. Some weeks I get out more than others and I have put out a new stitch tutorial so um, if you're interested in that it's on the cluster stitch. I'm going to be doing a three like a three-part series on um, you know the bobbles or the cluster stitch, the popcorn and the bobble stitch because they're kind of all similar and um, they can be confusing if you're you don't know which one's which. So I thought I would go ahead and do a video on that and um, yeah, so there should be, I think it's the bobble stitch this week, and and then it's going to be the popcorn after that, I think. And then I don't know what stitch I'll be working on after that. And I also have some other tutorials that I want to work on. I have my two panel skirt tutorial that I want to work on. I also have some knitting machine tutorials. I do need to finish up that uh, series that I was doing on the um, basic knitting machine um, tutorials. I have two more videos that I need to do for that that I haven't done. Um, so I need to do that. Uh, yeah, so it's kind of just what I've been doing today is I've just been working on videos and I thought, you know, I'd take a little bit of a break and do a little crochet and chat. I've made it, you know, quite a bit of progress on this skirt because it takes a long time to get around, um, get around the whole skirt. That's just one edge of it, and I have four edges, so it's like it's basically like doing a a blanket now, and it takes a while to get around each skirt. But I've been I've been keeping this next to the couch in the living room. That way, when I just sit there and watch TV. Um, in the evenings, I pull it out and just work on it. And I think I've been getting about a row a night, sometimes more. So hopefully I'll be done with this. Um, I wanted to get two more color block sections. I was thinking that would be the link that I need for the skirt, is about two more sections of those colors. And let's see. So each one of those sections is 12 rows. So each one of those sections is 12 rows, so that's quite a bit. So that'll be 24 rows that I still um, needed to do. And I've done, I've done three since the last time I filled it, and I'm working on the fourth right now. So I'm hoping that this will be done by the middle of August. That is my hope, if nothing else, by the 1st of September, because I want to have this done by fall, because I've been working on this skirt way too long. So I thought I would just come on here and chat a little bit and um, crochet and take a little break and I'll see you next time. Bye.